Welcome to McLeod Technology, and my name is Ram, and uh, today Jay's gonna be helping us unbox and see if the product is ready for delivery. And George is putting out some film or some images for some customers. So let's get started. And here we are, one of the new machines that Jay is about to unbox. And uh, let's get that started. So here's a new printer as well as a new stand and I'll set this up for you. Here's Jay. What's up? Uh, he just finished uh, unboxing this. Um, I just about to take out the wrap and um, what were you about to say Jay? Yeah, I was just trying to verify and make sure that the printer is in good working condition for delivery. Yep. So we'll get that started with you guys in a little sec. Okay, now once the printer is up on the stand, all we have to do is align it to the stand. And as you can see here, this, this edge of the printer should be aligned to the edge of the stand. And that's what we're gonna do next. Almost. Is it aligned? Yeah, it is. And all you have to do is slide it in. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Hey. Slide it in. There should be. <laughs> As you can see, now it's aligned. Yep. And uh, now we just have to screw it in, and it should be ready for a checkup. Just gonna check the check. Still needs to be converted to DTF. Okay. Yeah. We are, and uh, Jay is about to explain us why it's important to push out the, the ink out the printer. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're trying to convert the new printer into a DTF printer, right? And right now it is uh, filled up with original ink. What we're gonna do is actually flush it with our cleaning solution here. And it is best for us to have like a dedicated cartridges for our cleaning solution. That way we can actually flush the lines and clean up the lines, right? So what we're doing right now is just removing the cartridges from the, the original cartridges from the printers and replace it with a cleaning. Okay, my bad. I'm just gonna replace it with the cleaning solution. And then what we're gonna do next is put the cartridges in the, the ink bay and charge it, like use our initial fill on the maintenance end. All right, I'm gonna do that right now. Once we have initial fill or flush the lines of the new printer, uh, using the cleaning solution, now we can charge it with the DTF ink. Yes. It's pretty straightforward. All right, I'll, I'll to turn on the printer. And then for the initial fill, for the initial fill, It'll take a bit of time, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Approximately, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. While printing, take a picture. I'm just going to tell you what. I'm just going to tell you what. To go to the maintenance mode, you have to press all three of these buttons. This right button here, the down button, and the middle button together at the same time and then press the power button. So I have to hold the three buttons. Okay, once you see 
need that. Let go. It says three cartridge error, don't worry about that. What you gotta do is you check that sometimes it's not sitting properly since the cartridges we have are like the customized, custom made cartridges. Can you check that? Which one is it? The last one. Number five, yeah. Sometimes it's just not sitting properly. still like that after it means that you might need to replace the chip yeah it's probably it's most likely a chip problem all right so i guess we'll be, uh, yeah, we got to change the chip, chip. Yep. what are we doing we are just putting the we're just trying to okay. elevate basically the concept is to just elevate the ink cartridge so that the connector on the printer would actually read the chip. doing yeah just putting the we're just trying to elevate basically the concept is to just elevate the ink cartridge so that the connector on the printer would actually read the chip I was telling John that we should uh, like disassemble the machine and then put it all together back again, and then we'll do it by like chapter or like by by like parts, like part one, part two, and stuff. Wait, I'm not gonna fucking show. Oh my gosh! So the paper. Uh, that we used to elevate the uh, the cartridge did not work and so we are changing the chip but we're still gonna have the paper on it so it's still elevated and um, Jay will show this to replace a chip cartridge simply is to have a brattle or a pick and you just have to like 
take it out using the pick. It's like, again, there's no like proper way, like which side, <laughs> it's just your own preference. I think I usually go for this side because I don't want the, you know, the foil, the metal part to be destroyed. I just pick it. Oh, shit. There you go. Once it's out, you can see the the nipple part of the, the plastic nipple part. You just like light it up. Just be careful when you're taking it out. Don't don't uh, just make make sure it's like still pointed. Because it could, once you press this back in and it's not pointed, it has like a, like the, it's flattened, it, it might ruin this, <laughs> might ruin, so just make sure, and then just line it up perfectly. That's it. Just make sure that it's seated well, and that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now we are placing it inside and looks like it's on the right track. You can hear your printer calibrating. <laughs> See, there is no more errors yes. Yes. and so for the initial filling uh, we are doing that tomorrow so wait for part two and um, 